a lot of people miss the interconnectedness of all the parts of your body. And, and when we talk about detoxification, it's not just that we're going to go in and pull this thing out that might be slowing you down a little bit. But what we're going to do is tune up organs like the liver that, yes, they detoxify, but they're also controlling so much of your metabolism and how you generate energy and you know how much you burn versus store energy. Uh, they control hormones. They control the immune system. And so it becomes a very big part of wellness and keeping a, a really thriving system. So first, you know, back to your question of, of what is a toxin? And I'm glad you asked me that. It seems like an obvious question, but a toxin really is just a chemical and you make a lot of chemicals in your body. You're made out of chemicals and there's chemicals in the environment and they're coming in and they're going out. And it's, at the point at which that chemical is starting to create negative reactions in your body. Maybe it's blocking enzyme reactions, or maybe it's uh, causing a distortion in your brain called neuroinflammation that's causing you to think fuzzy or to start having anxiety. Maybe it's changing your metabolism so that you're putting on and holding weight. But it's that chemical entity at the point at which you get more of it than your body can accommodate. And that's when it becomes a toxin. So things we think of as toxins are things where that point, that tipping point where it becomes negative for the body is at a low level. And so what I specialized in were metallic toxins. And my PhD was around mercury in the environment. Mercury is a very quintessential toxin because very low levels of it cause a lot of problems in the body. And lead, arsenic, cadmium all do that. And these things are things that we are exposed to and can build up in us and start causing a lot of problems when the supply of them into the body exceeds how fast we get rid of them. But then there's Mold toxins are a real big one these days. There's all the pesticides and herbicides that are just distributed all over the place because of their use in agriculture. There's plastics and plasticizers. There's volatile organic chemicals like gasoline fumes. And so, you know, it kind of depends. What are you exposed to more than you're getting rid of it? And how do you keep your body tuned up so it's always getting rid of these things as you're exposed to them? 